Now in this session, we are going to talk about how to receive the goods into our inventory organization for a particular purchase order. For example, purchase order is already created and the purchase order is already approved. We have sent the purchase order to supplier and supplier is supplying the goods to our inventory. Now we want to receive the goods into inventory organization. When we want to receive the goods into our inventory organization, we require the roles in access to the application. For inventory organization, the roles are required. Warehouse manager, warehouse operator, inventory manager. These are roles required. <laughs> And how about the data access? Inventory organization. We are supposed to assign the inventory organization, the data access. The moment when we add the roles and data access, we can find this has been updated or not from here. Supply chain execution, inventory management. Supply chain execution, inventory management. Go to the option here, inventory management. Go to inventory management. This is a, a work area or functional area where we are going to perform our inventory transactions. What is the inventory organization? 001. 001 is the inventory organization which we have. And we can find the task list here. Inventories, consigned inventories and other options we have over here. Now, we have already ordered the material. What is the order number? We can find the order number from here, purchase orders. Make sure that you have already created a purchase order. Let's go to the task here, manage orders. Give this order number here. Search button. This PO is already approved. This is PO number. Purchase order number. Let's go back to our inventory functional area. Go to supply chain execution, inventory management. Go to task list here. There is option here, receipts. We are going to receive the goods into our inventory organization. We are going to receive the goods into our inventory organization. Go to the option called receipts. Go to the option called receipts. Okay. So once we go to the receipt option, receive expected shipments. Click on this, receive expected shipment so before we receive the item into our inventory first we will check how many items we have already in our warehouse how much quantity we ordered and how much we are going to receive okay go to navigator uh, what is the item name how we can find which item we ordered let's go back to purchase order and search for the item here. Sorry, search for the purchase order. Then we'll get an item name. Which item we ordered. And for which inventory we have ordered, we can find that information also. Item name we can find at line level AS85000. How much quantity we ordered? Six items. Go to schedules, nothing but shipment. We'll come to know for which inventory we ordered. CTEL is the inventory location, but it's not actually the inventory organization. I can find the inventory organization from here. Where do we get it? Inventory organization.
go to organization we can find that so we ordered the goods for 001 inventory okay so first we will check how many items are there in the inventory go back to our inventory management functional area go to the task list here i would like to check present quantity go back to inventory any area manage item quantity search for the item as eight five triple zero that's the name of the item which inventory zero zero one inventory organization we are going to check total 20 items we have we have 20 items in our inventory zero zero one which sub inventory stores total 20 items we have 20 items are there now go back to task list here now we would like to go for receive this another six items go to receive expected shipment current on hand quantity is 20. now we ordered the goods to supplier order has already approved we send it to supplier now we are receiving this goods from supplier search for this order now this is our order information total quantity six here now click this button receive we are going to receive these goods into our inventory organization if we are not clear how much quantity we ordered for example there is a button here show receipt quantity this button will automatically retrieve this quantity information here and we are receiving this six items into this particular inventory if at all we want to choose sub inventory name we can choose that sub inventory name also i'm receiving these goods directly into the stores and we'll go ahead with the create a receipt sub -menu. now the receipt will be created successfully for this particular purchase order now the receipt number is five two triple three five two triple three is the receipt number how many items we have received only one item quantity is six but item is one but item is one we can receive multiple items at a time if there are multiple lines of course can be received depends on the requirement we can create the document now the receipt document has created successfully so what is receipt receipt is nothing but a document which will be prepared by an employee while receiving the goods or service at warehouse at the warehouse okay i will go back and check the quantity of item inventory manage item quantities and check this order number sorry not order number item well, is eight four triple zero that is the name of the item click search button Twenty six items. So before we receive, we have verified it was twenty. After we receiving the goods against this order, we got six. Now it's going to be total twenty six. Twenty six items. Right. So now we will check the order status also. Go back to purchase orders. I want to see the order life cycle. I would like to check. Go back to task list manage orders search for the order number here now this is our order number and we can find the status here closed for receiving and we can see the life cycle here order received delivered into our inventory okay so here is our receipt number this is our receipt number Okay, so this is how we will go for create a receipt and receive the goods into our inventory as per the order. In case if the purchase order is already approved, according to that, we can go for receive this items into inventory organization. Okay, thank you.